Hello, this video will focus on the current state of the blockchain explorer frontend. It shows the running code from the GitHub repository named iroha 2 block explorer web we are looking at right now. I intend to start with the frontend part, demonstrate how things are functioning visually and to switch to the backend after that. Switching between the light and dark themes works nicely. The translations have to be updated after all the detail pages for blocks, transactions, assets, etc. are ready, because those will add a lot of new text to translate. In short, language switching isn't finished yet. The main page is displaying the latest blocks and transactions. The structure we are looking at uh, matches the original design. Transaction filters on the main page don't work yet. Transaction hashes are shortened, having a feature to display the complete hash would be nice. The blocks page is working and it is slightly different compared to the original design. The date and time column turned into the age column. Rows per page switching works, although the direction of a drop-down component requires scrolling and it looks incorrect. It is easy to copy the block hash with the copy button. The assets page differs from the design, column-wise. The columns are changed. Price, 24 hour percent, market cap and holders are missing, while the column named total supply was renamed as the total one. The icons on the left are missing. Total values are working and there is a new feature to display store type assets that contain JSON through a number of keys recorded in such an asset. The domains page is different compared to the original design. There are no dummy icons on the left. The balance, reserved and locked columns are missing. A page for the domain details has to be implemented. The accounts page is only slightly different from the design. The balance column is missing. A functionality to copy the address works nicely. The transaction page is matching the original design. Transaction details aren't implemented. The filtering logic has to be implemented as well. Currently, it does not work. A block link doesn't have the assigned design page. Let's have a look at the mobile design. Most of the features are supported and implemented. The only thing I can point out is that the hashes are shortened incorrectly, leaving too much space. Now let us review the Blockchain Explorer backend. It allows the frontend to interact with Iroha, for instance, retrieving the available data. The setup we'll be looking at is using three parts. An Iroha instance, the Blockchain Explorer backend, and the Explorer frontend in development mode that is using a proxy to connect to the backend. It is configured using two files. First, a .env file with a server and mock API configuration in it. Second, a Vita configuration that sets up the proxy to the Blockchain Explorer backend. Now, let's see how the pages work one by one. The blocks page displays a single record and a single page for it. The assets page displays more pages in pagination and more predefined assets as well. The rows per page functionality works normally. Same repeats for other three pages, so we'll look at those briefly. Now, let's query the Blockchain Explorer backend directly to test it. When we query the API directly, it won't be formatted because formatting takes space. Instead, we are going to use HTTP program to debug the API.
Let us continue with analyzing the account AP route. The important attributes below are the page and page size for pagination. Each response will reflect the pagination data we've sent and contains the number of items. When we perform the query, we'll see the asset for a given account and account ID, its metadata and roles. The pagination data is reflected in each of the main routes, so let's switch to the assets. Each asset record contains an account ID, a definition ID, its value with a given amount under the C key, its type under the T key. Let us continue with the domains route. Each domain contains the complete account definitions, the complete asset definitions, its ID, its logo, its metadata, a key value store, and its triggers. An individual transaction in the transactions route consists of the data with signatures and a commit marker. The content section contains a hash, a payload with its account, creation time, and a list of instructions. Each transaction signature contains a payload and a public key. An individual block in the block's root contains a block hash key to identify the block, its height, the amount of rejected transactions, its timestamp, the amount of transactions in set block. If you have questions or suggestions about Iroha Blockchain Explorer, please ask them in the community Telegram and Discord. Thank you for watching this video. Cheers!